everybody. So we're just discussing lion hunting techniques and we've got lion and I'll show you in a minute. Uh, fantastic Vincent. Um, I'm so excited for you to all meet Vincent a little bit later and I know that he's going to be very excited to be on the show. So he's interviewing for a presenter position and he's from Kenya. So what we're going to do is I just want to get a better spot here. There's some warthogs in the distance. And this lion is creeping up behind. It's the sausage tree pride. So the two lionesses with the four cubs that we've been actually spending a fair amount of time with. I'm just going to sit like this just for now, just so that we've got a good spot. So your warthogs don't know that she's there. But you can see she's being very, very careful about what she's doing. She's still quite a way off. She's got about 100 meters between her and them. So and this could still take quite a while. Just to give you an example, you can see there's three beautiful big warthogs. Just off to the left, you see there's quite a big gap between the two. Looks like a male. Or oh, maybe they're girls. The one in the middle has got massive tusks. They're looking around. I don't think she's got the wind on her side, or a little bit of the wind. The wind is actually coming down towards us off the base of the escarpment. Oh, there they go, walking again. Warthogs are always so suspicious. That's one thing that I have definitely noticed. And they don't have the greatest eyesight. Their hearing's okay. Their sense of smell is fantastic. It's probably their best sense. But they unfortunately are not always aware of their surroundings. And I've told the story to you a couple of times about how I have actually snuck up to a warthog before with the wind in my favor. But these warthogs seem completely oblivious to her, and she blends in so well to that grass. Luckily, it's not too short yet. Definitely has been has been um, grazed to definitely a shorter level in some areas, but not too long. So I think it's just long enough for her to conceal herself. Now, she has got her head above the grass, but like I said, a warthog's eyesight is not their best sense. So it's okay that she sits up like that, and I think she knows this. Is I don't even know if those warthogs would be able to see her from this distance because they're a lot shorter than the grass. Her eyes and ears are just pricking over the top. And I don't want to move around too much. I'm just going to sit and watch for a little bit because those warthogs will become suspicious of us because they can hear us moving around. So we'll just hold our, our ground for the minute. Now, if you're wondering why the other lioness is not coming this way, I, I've, I noticed that the other night. Remember we sat and we watched... The lions hunting or attempting to hunt and one lioness went off and the other sort of hung around with the cubs i wonder if this is not a trend wouldn't surprise me sorry i can hear a strange noise i think our, one of our earpieces is leaking Sorry, I don't know. Let me just ask Chantel, can you, could you, are our com, our comms, is our audio coming through okay? So the reason why I'm just asking is we just heard a, a bizarre noise now. Okay, I think it's leaking from Craig, but that's okay. That, as long as it's perfect, that's fine. Um, and then may I have that question again? Sorry, I was horribly distracted there. Ah, oh, there we go. Devil's Angel, you said that the wind direction needs to be in her favor. It, it, it'll definitely help her. Sometimes that doesn't need to be the case. So, like I said, the wind is coming down off the escarpment and blowing towards us. So, the wind is in nobody's favor at the moment. But if she carries on moving directly towards him in, in the line that she's going, she should be okay. But she sat down now. She's just relaxing. And remember with lion hunts is that they don't always happen within 10 seconds or 10 minutes. Sometimes they can take hours and hours of preparation. Uh, I'm actually surprised that she's going for these warthogs because there's huge herds of buffalo around. But maybe she's had some bad experiences with buffalo. We know how dangerous they can be and how many lions and sabi sand, well, all over Africa really get killed by buffalo every single year. There's definitely been a few lions in the sands that we know of that have been taken out. For instance, one of the Birmingham boys died of an injury from a buffalo. So maybe she's just decided that's too much for her, especially if it's a big herd and she is on her own. She seems to be doing all the work this morning. But even a warthog 
can be dangerous. We saw those massive, massive, massive tusks that they have. No, why are you running? And remember that day we... Oh, she's missing. The one at the back is missing a tail. Or he's missing a tail. Remember that day we watched very patiently. We sat and watched Mvula go after a warthog and he ended up getting a gash because of the tusks. So the same thing can happen to a lioness. No, they're running in a different direction. Now they, they're definitely wary about something. Maybe the wind is swirling a little bit. See how they keep sticking their noses to the air? So they're definitely trying to smell. So it just shows you how heavily they do rely on their sense of smell. See that? Yeah, I think the wind is swirling every now and then, and they might be getting the odd scent from her. Even the lioness is looking around as if to say, mm, have I been spotted? She, look, she just keeps turning her head behind her. That other lioness is not heading this way. But see, she's doing a big yawn. She might get up again. Let's see what she's going to do. Odie, you're wondering how do I identify the sausage tree pride? Um, well, it's a number of different things. I've noticed on both of these lionesses that have the four younger cubs, they've got relatively tattered ears and also just the area that they're in. They seem to hang around in the same spots, you know, within a couple of hundred meters of where we keep, you know, where we found them the other day along that drainage line. So, so that, and then the ages of the cubs, the two young cubs that look like they're younger than six months, and then there's two older cubs that look like they're just over about six months. So it's difficult. I haven't really worked out their spot pattern, but like I said, the tatty ears, and then just the area that they're hanging around in. Uh, I'm just trying to see what's happened because now she's sat up in the grass and those warthogs are coming closer. Are you going? Are you keen? No, these two lionesses have got me excited too many times. I have yet to see a successful hunt, and I've watched them a couple of times make missed attempts. Maybe this morning. <coughs> Sorry, I ate a macadamia nut and I'm choking on it. <laughs> My little breakfast snack. No, I don't know. No, she looks like she she keeps looking back at the the rest of the pride. Maybe she's a little bit on the upset side that this other lioness is not wanting to come through and give her a hand. No, those warthogs are darting off now. Come on, girls. Stop teasing us. 